Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2021. This is the Sun Van from Curler Sun Van VW Bully Base, a vehicle which is somewhat uh, traditional looking um, VW camper, but somewhat modern at the same time. 68,000 euros, something like this will cost. And so it's a VW T.6.1 on 220 TDI, 150 horsepower, Euro 6. This one has got an automatic gearbox. And right, it's got a tent in the roof. And let's have a look at some of the furnishings in it. Okay, so one thing we can see here to start off with, uh, with the kitchen. And it's uh, now one feature which we have in 2022 is that vans have only two um, burners. That's normal in a VW camper. But what I see here is they're getting further apart. So congratulations to the suppliers such as Thetford, Can, Dometic and the others who have thought of that to actually put these burners further together because they used to be so close you could only use one anyway uh, but now we've got out of that one okay in the kitchen below that we have a small two-way fridge from Dometic it's in the same oh look at that there's already some stuff in here so I'll have that a bit later I'll make a start on that uh, right so he heating and we can see uh, other, other uh, details of what's going on with the inside the van and down here is space for the toilet, should you uh, think you're going to need it. Probably will. And, uh, oh, let's have a look at some more furniture here. Now, big question is this. How does the bed work? Well, you put the chairs will come down and lie on each other. And at the back, you've got the mattress which has been in, uh, installed there. And behind that, you've got a mosquito screen. And this uh, sideboard is something which is quite new. And it does allow, I uh, don't know anybody else that does a sideboard like this. So it does allow for a bit extra storage in the vehicle. And let's face it, a huge door isn't absolutely necessary a right, tent in the roof comes down by pulling this thing here down you know that's really it's really light as well there you are and you can see what the tent looks like right let's now have a look at the back And uh, so you can see what got the storage. Well, the, the cleaning materials, obviously, this is a trade fair. So some sort of cleaning materials are going to be needed. And up here we have got, we've got the bed. So, and there's the other part of the bed as well. So it's slatted bed, goes over the chairs and uh, then the mattress goes over that. All right, let's now have a look inside uh, another one here this one comes with a high roof now i am a big believer in high roofs rather than tents and roofs this is going to cost eighty-eight thousand. uh it comes with an off-road packet from teranga or teranga i don't know, teranga i think it is and uh let's uh let's go and go on this one here right so i had a v w t4 my t4 had something up there no no it didn't have a door to it as i recall and uh it did have the bed though up here which could be used but i used it i used it for storage i didn't sleep i never once slept there and here we've got the you can see how the mattress comes out in this case over the uh over the chairs so during the day when the chairs are in use then it all goes back and it comes forward for uh, for the night now and the um the, the mattress 
is here. Another feature of this, it's got this touch LED. Goes off and goes back on again. I've got that in my van as well, but mine's like mine, mine touch the end. And uh, right, let's have a look now at yes, another note. These vehicles are largely built to order, it's a small converter, and so they do things according to buyer specifications. And you can see from their, their website uh, more of the sort of things that they've done. Now here we have a Mercedes model. Now they've filmed Mercedes in the past, for example they did have a Mercedes at Stuttgart. Last time I was on 2020 and it was very similar to this. But what they've managed to do with this by using lighter materials they have reduced it. This is the uh, Sprinter 6 316 CDI, cost 111,000 euros, but that includes things such as your solar and all sorts of other stuff as well. Now, uh, coming in, uh, I had this idea as well. I mean, to me, it, just, it was just basic common sense. Uh, what do you need to a, a forward facing bench here for when only two people usually are traveling in it? Okay, you can put a third seat belt. So it's got here uh, an extra seat but only one extra seat the table will move for use in transport and i believe that the seat will can can be turned around as well to face forward uh, as as the thing goes uh, in motion we've got plenty of space there above the uh the, the bulwark um, and for an enormous bed at the back and storage here I'll show you at the back of this van as well I see a lot of stuff you can get there. As you can see, it's being carried around in it right now. That is a van which is in use. So, uh, come back to the star of the show, which is this Sun, uh, sun Van Bully uh, Volkswagen Camper. And there you are, there's the name of the company. Uh, we'll have a detailed internet site and thanks for watching the quote it better schlafen be better way to sleep and thanks for watching and all the best from Dusseldorf 2021